If the agitator on the Whirlpool or Kenmore washing machine is not turning properly like this one, it is likely that the directional cogs or dogs are worn out or broken. An agitator that is working correctly should look like this. Hidden somewhere in a Whirlpool or Kenmore washer's agitator is a cam that looks something like this. If the teeth on the dogs are worn smooth, they can't grab onto the teeth on the agitator. So the agitator won't turn or it may start to slip. The good news is that dog agics cost around $5 and can be easily replaced. Most of Whirlpool manufactured washers are very similar. Remove the dispenser from the top of the agitator. This one has a lock ring that pulls up. The top of the agitator may have a dust cover. This one has a notch so you can put a screwdriver underneath it to pry it up. It's obvious that the dogs on this one are broken. There's a piece of one at the bottom of the shaft. Next, I'll remove the bolt that's holding the cam and the agitator in place. I'll use a 7 16 inch socket with a half inch ratchet and a 5 inch extension. Some of the Whirlpools don't have a bolt. A half inch ratchet and extension are needed. Use the square end of the extension to loosen the agitator. Place the socket into the agitator and turn the 7 16 inch nut or the extension counterclockwise and it, you may have to hold on to the bottom of the agitator so it doesn't move while you're turning it. When the nut's loosened you can just use the extension and the socket to turn the nut counterclockwise. Pull up and remove the agitator. Place your toes on the bottom of the agitator and then pull up on the top part. The two pieces of this agitator were stuck together. You may be able to just pull the top piece off of yours. Remove the cam from the agitator. The cam will hold four dogs, or what's left of them. Some cams may have a lock ring that holds the dogs in place. If you have one of these, remove the lock ring. Replace the dogs. Ensure that they are placed in the cam like this. After the four dogs are replaced, reinsert the cam into the agitator. There's two tabs that stick up inside of the cam. Place the top of the agitator onto the bottom piece and line up those tabs with these little posts that stick out on the bottom part of the agitator. Reinsert the bolt. Turn the bolt clockwise. Hold on to the bottom of the agitator and tighten it up a bit. Reinstall the dust cap. Reinstall the softener. I hope you found this video helpful. To see my other videos, click on Know How Now. A thumbs up is always appreciated. And thanks for watching.